Okay, are you ready to dash on? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Uganda, the funniest man in East Africa, Nairobi, Kenya, show your love for one and only Salvador! Thank you, man. Tubonge. The dance, I will send you the invoice later. Please, please, please. What's up, Nairobi? So good to be. I'm dedicating this show to all the independent women in the building. Yeah. If you're independent and you have real hair. Women, you black men, you make it so you make it hard for us men to be romantic. You know, a white woman can tell the husband, honey, rub your hands through my hair, and then he rubs and it's all smooth. Black women, they I dare you to tell your man that you try to tell your man, rub your hands through my hair, uh, all you feel is pothole hump, pothole hump, pothole hump, pothole hump. <laughs> Those weaves of yours are. Uh, have you ever seen some of you even put on those weaves so bad? Have you ever seen a person they put on a weave so bad that when they call her and she turns, the weave remains in the same direction? <laughs> You're like my Muna. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so good. I love our women. They are they are hustlers, they are hard workers. Just clap for yourselves. It's so good. You, unlike my women, you know, I come from I come from Uganda. You know that country which owns Mijingo? It's yours. Yeah. It's yours. Yeah. Okay, the water is ours. Yeah. <laughs> I come, but I like I like talking about where I come from. You see, I've done so many shows with so many African comedians. I've been blessed, and we have traveled. And every time we go, every comedian who comes on stage and say, "Hi, my name is Apororo. I'm from Africa." I'm like, "Yeah." So one time we were doing this show, and this guy came and said, "Hi, my name is Apororo. I'm from Africa." I told him, "Dude, we are in Rwanda." That's why for me, I'm proud of where I come from, Uganda, a village called Ombokolo. Unlike you women, you, you, are, you Kenyan women, you are very good. You are good to compliments. When somebody tells you you're beautiful, you're like, oh, O-M-G-L-O-L-X-O-X-O. -X -O -X -O. <laughs> In Ombokolo, you tell a girl you are beautiful, she'll ask you, who told you? <laughs> They're the kind of girls you say, oh my God, I love your hair. She says, which one? be romantic with a woman from Mbokolo. You tell her, you know, you try to be like Shakespeare. You say, baby, tell me something sweet in my ear. She'd be like, you want what? <laughs> something sweet. Okay, glucose. <laughs> they are not romantic. One time I sent her an SMS. I told her, baby, if you're singing, send me the song. If you're in the kitchen, send me the aroma. If you're crying, send me that tear. She replied, I'm in the toilet. Why should I say? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Women in Ombokolo, very terrible. <laughs> they are not good to compliments, I'm telling you. The problem started from my education system. You see, in school, English was a problem. <laughs> English was a problem. Like question tags. Like when I say I am coming to you, what's the question tag? Hey, hey, it's a wrong number. <laughs> yeah, it's a wrong number. I'm very sorry, I didn't know. But Churchill will translate for you. Like question tags. Like we had one student particularly, he was called Labeja. He was terrible with question tags. One time he came to class and he was smart. The teacher said, wow, Labeja, you are smart. He said, aye, aye.
Hector said, no, Ladeja. Okay, I want you to add a question tag to the following statement. Okello is going to get mangoes. He said, okay. <laughs> I add what? You add a question tag to the statement, Okello is going to get mangoes. He said, let him go. <laughs> <laughs> let him say, no, Labeja. What's wrong with you? Don't you know English? He said, I know. He said, okay, the same statement. Okello is going to get mangoes. Reconstruct the sentence without changing the meaning, but beginning with the word mangoes. Labeja said, but that is simple. Mangoes! <laughs> Okello is coming for you. <laughs>
Jackson. Ah, glad. Sex, sex for it. Breastfully different. The director was like, no, it's tastefully different. Let us just do one more take. So that we call it a rap. Now the people who came with swag who are greeting everyone. Naskari, how are you? I like your gun. Does it have bullets? You are doing a good job. Okay, let's do this final take and we'll go. Okay. Take five lights. The lights are, I can see the light. Camera, hold on. Which camera do we look into this one? So no, look into the main camera. Okay, don't shout at me. Okay, let's do this second one. Lights. <laughs> camera. We yeah, look into this camera. Action. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ah. What was the name of the beer again? Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. That's my time. <laughs>